Hey, Max here. So we got the team champions on their way tomorrow. I haven't seen what the sets are. Maybe they'll reveal tonight, but more than likely they won't. They'll just kind of wait for tomorrow morning, which we'll be streaming twitch.tv slash gutfox with the reveal. See if we can't find some, uh, you know, good methods. Loopholes? I don't know. We'll see. But okay, let's go through. We're going to rank them. Okay, we're going to do a live ranking, something that I don't really do that often, but sometimes it's fun just to like kind of like just see it is and uh, just go from there. So maybe not like the best ranking I've ever done as far as accurate to how the players will play versus one another, but overall, like I, I will say the power level of these cards kind of like lower your expectations. As you see the first card, we're looking at Aaron Jones at 94 speed. You can tell right away that you need to lower the expectations. Now, the one thing about this card is if you don't have wide receiver speed cams, you got running back speed cams, power them up, Green Bay theme team, running back speed cams, boom, 99 speed, right? Because, like, you got Devontae Adams, who doesn't really need the wide receiver theme, uh, team cams, to my knowledge. Um, with the, Sorry, need the speed cams with the team cams. I can speak. How dare you? How dare you insult me? I am not terrible at speaking, actually. So, anyways, this card, great break tackle, slower than A.J. Dillon, which, you know, some people on stream said that, and like, it's slower than A.J. Dillon, A.J. Dillon's the power rack. Dude, A.J. Dillon actually ran a quicker 40 than him. I was, I was surprised to see that, too, but it was like 4.52 versus 4.56 for Aaron Jones. But overall, as a mutt running back, I don't think Aaron Jones is going to provide, like, he's not going to be a top-of-the-meta guy. He's not going to be that dude, except for maybe on the, the Green Bay theme team, where he is an elusive back instead of a receiving back. So Aaron Jones, I'm actually going to kind of rank him all the way down here. The really, the best part about this card is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Jones is his break tackle, and his break tackle isn't enough to, to bring the card up too much higher. Kirk Cousins here. Okay. Now, Kirk, this is a this is a great card for me to poop on. It's it, it would have been fine like three months ago. Right now, because we have basically the same stats, same thresholds on quarterbacks, you know, field general 98 overall, powers of the 99, gets all five ability slots. It's great for the field general. The issue is the speed, right? We've got cards that do what this card does, but faster. So for that, that ain't that great. So I'm going to throw Kirk down here at... Uh, 27 and he might even be lower than that in my opinion uh just because how how you know not great he's going to be and you won't really see him online at all next up is charles harris here for the lions lions have an underrated sneaky good theme team maybe it's time to update our theme team ranking maybe we'll do it after the easter promo but that's probably a better idea let's wait let's wait a week to do that anyways charles harris here he is a high-end finesse no block shed speeds 91 a little bit lower than you like to see right now ain't got no strength depending on how much you guys believe strength matters here in the run game so a good pass rusher bad against the the um run but i think it's like 98 finesse move should play well enough so charles harris um just due to the okay speed great acceleration um, gets that number 20 slot for us. Okay, next up, Deshaun Gibson Sr. Now, you guys know how much, this late in the game, you need somebody that hits. An 88 hit power does not hit, right? Because you, you throw a hit stick, you're bouncing off King Henry. You're bouncing off a lot of those big backs. A lot of the backs, you know, like Aaron Jones with 98 break tackle, you throw a hit power at that, you might get shoved off. So, not having that staff is tough. But he is really nicely balanced between man and zone. Speed. If you have the DB strat items, will be 99, so that's not as big of a deal, in my opinion, unless you don't have them. You've moved on to, like, linebacker strat items. Then he caused a little bit more of an issue, only being 98 speed when you power him up and get the Chicago Bears theme team. So, it's it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but overall, I definitely think he's usable. So, I'm going to go with uh, Gibson here at, uh, we'll throw him at number 18. To and Now, this is going to all change as we go on. Um, Gibson senior but he is missing a very important part of being a safety which is hitting people very hard next up on the list mike evans now six foot five all route running thresholds high end catching traffic jump spec catch absolutely adore this mike evans now i am going to count like you do have the wide receiver speed strat items along with your theme teams so in that instance you don't even really need to power him up to get the 99 speed but say you do power him up then you only need one wide receiver strat items i mean this card might be top three for me because of uh the height and everything now if you don't have the wide receiver speed strat items or you're not running a bucks theme team power level maybe retracts a little bit back uh inside i'm not gonna go anywhere with that Dante Fowler Jr., very much like what we saw with Charles Harris with the high-end finesse move, low power, bad block shed, bad strength, but a little bit faster. So 
being a little bit faster means he has to be up on the list a little bit. So we're going to throw him at number 17 here. Actually, I like 93 speed. Dante Fowler Jr. right there for your Falcons theme teamers. Next up on the list, Paulson Adebo. I, I think that's how you say it. He's a 96 speed man-to-man -man corner. Zone coverage is very low, but he does have press man coverage right there. I don't think he's overly big, but he does have an absolute great like movement ability. So you like to use this card, you really do want to play a man press scheme. I don't know how many people do that. An old gen man press is huge, right? Next gen, you see it, I'd say 40% of the time. So there's a fair amount of man and man press on the ladder. And you know what? Being as a part of the meta as it is, if this was earlier in the year and it was like a man corner, it wasn't a big of a deal, but I actually don't mind it. I guess I, can, I should look up um, how tall he is. I know in a man scheme, height doesn't matter as much um, as a um, zone scheme. He is six foot one. Actually, that's a really nice height. I thought he'd be like 5'11". 6'1"? Uh, I'm going to move him up the list. 6'1", I think I, think I want to go like top five with this guy let's go let's go at number six for now uh, but that's that's a nice card if you run a man scheme if you're on a zone scheme eh. uh Shaq Thompson block shot 93 slow he's a linebacker tackle 98 is nice um it'd be nice to see what his zone coverage was I'm gonna think it's pretty bad being a run stopping archetype instead of a pass uh archetype 93 block shit for a run stopping archetype Shaq Thompson might be like one of the worst ones I'm gonna put Shaq Thompson down here at 30 um really a tough card to kind of find its way onto your field now obviously with a texas boy who loves linebackers on a linebacker speed strat item power him up get your your theme team all the way up there so adding plus five speed onto him really does kind of bring him up into the upper echelon but you have to commit to linebackers being the speed ones and that's that's a very rare strategy um to add the linebacker speed strat cards instead of like the db strat cards um uh, it, it you know it's getting less rare as we move on in the coming weeks months or whatever because DBs are getting to that natural 99 break. So it's definitely usable on your Panthers. Full Panthers theme team with linebacker street speed strat items. It's usable. It's not overly powerful, but it's usable. Zeke right here, 94 speed is unfortunate for running back. He's going to be okay, right? Like uh, we've talked about so much with the running back strat item, with the theme team chems powered up with 99 break tackle, good truck, change of direction. Zeke always seems to run pretty well in the game too. So Zeke, I'm not going to like knock him too much for only having 94 speed. You really got to commit to the spot though. Commit to the 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 player. So for that, I'm going to throw him, I think at like 14. I don't know. I feel like I might be a little high on this Ezekiel Elliott. But like, dude, I, I watched his, what, free version early this year. Like, make me want to tear my freaking hair out. So I, I'm not going to sit here and degrade Zeke because I see with this card, with the free card, which, you know, didn't really have the greatest of stats. Just run through me a few times. So I, I think 14 is a fair number just for the way he's performed against me this year. Next up is Miles Sander for the, Sanders for the arrival in the Eagles. Halfback, 94 speed. He is an elusive back, whereas uh, we also had Zeke right before it being elusive back. This one, 95 break tackle, 89 truck, 94 change direction, 82 catch. We take a look at this one with more trucking. A little bit more of a power back than elusive back, but same speed. Acceleration is there on Sanders. I don't think Sanders runs as well as Zeke, especially since he doesn't have the trucking of Zeke. Um, so overall, Miles Sanders, I do feel like is a little bit of a downgrade. I really had never had an issue stopping Miles Sanders. I've never run into a Miles Sanders online. They're like, oh man, Miles Sanders is killing me. So the fact that he doesn't have that it factor kind of lowers it to me on the list. In my opinion, he's down to 21. Next up, Scary Terry McLaurin. Now talk about it factor. Now this guy, not overly tall. Now this card is going to be fast enough, right? It's going to be 99 speed. But like even like last year we had it's like a Halloween card. It wasn't like the craziest speed. It was really good speed. But like he had that it factor. Now my only like only concern about this card is lack of catch of traffic because you know a lot of the windows are a little tight here. Sometimes you know you don't roll out corners and that doesn't really matter as much. But like some of the windows are tight if you are like a drop back throw in the pocket type of passer catching traffic. You might drop the ball, especially going against the high hit power dudes that we all now face. You know the Cam Chancellors, etc. The safeties out there. So that is a little bit of a, a, a downside of the Scary Terry. But again, it factor makes me want to put Scary Terry at number 13. And that's exactly where he's going to go. I think it's a, is it a capital L, uh, McLaurin? I I don't know. Um, don't roast me if it's not a capital L. I totally forgot because I am uh, the boner champ. That's why they call me uh, boner champ because I got B's in schools. I got A's in all my classes. I nailed it. So call me Alpha. 
Tay Crowder, run stopping middle linebacker. Like this is just embarrassing. <laughs> 84 zone. Wait a second. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We had Shaq Thompson outside linebacker. I'm like, I thought we didn't see the zone. 84 zone for middle linebacker. You have to use him, okay? With that kind of knowledge number. Hit power is only 90. Like, if you're going to throw a middle linebacker in your field, you want somebody that's going to lay the absolute boo. Like, what does this card do well? Nothing. Block shed's only 91. This is actually, I think, the worst card that they revealed. Um, I'm going to have to be really blown out and unimpressed. Um, for somebody to take number 32 away from Crowder here, because this card is just terrible. It's got no use. It's not fast. It doesn't hit hard. Uh, DeAndre Hopkins here. Talk about most feared cards that do really well. Higher catching traffic than Scary Terry. I think he's got to go up there. I'm going to put... Uh, I feel like Hopkins is going to be top five to me. I just... I don't know. Hopkins is Hopkins. At, at a certain point, you're just kind of like, hey, man, that's DeAndre Hopkins out there. DeAndre Hopkins. Is that capitalized or not? What looks better? What looks normal? DeAndre Hopkins. Let me Google that. You know what? I'll Google those two. I don't want to disrespect them. Yeah, it is a capital A. And then I uh, think Terry McLaurin. I think I, I think that one's right. Yeah, Terry McLaurin's also a capital L. All right. So next up on the list, we have George Kittle. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top tight ends in the game right now overall so let's go ahead and bring it over to mutt.gg position this one might be the best in the game we just got gates there at 95 speed other than that it's 94 speed newsome so he'll be tied for 94 speed once you power him up actually newsome can be powered up can't he to 99 overall so he'll be faster evan ingram slightly faster but evan ingram that's evan ingram he sucks um so yeah really right there with ozzy newsome but george kittle is going to be taller than ozzy right six foot two versus six foot is kittle four um six foot four on this card so he's actually up in price he is up 31 percent today on the new card announcement and then gates is right here who's gonna be faster and six foot four also so gates is the one that you could say is better than him straight up um the run blocking on gates let's look strength run block is 92 so gates is maybe a little bit more expensive but similar to George Kittle. So George Kittle, to me, I almost want to put him at number two. Because being right there with a, like a limited time card, a very expensive one, I think I'm going to put George Kittle right there at number two. Let's use him at number two until uh, we think otherwise. I really like this George Kittle card. Um, he's always, always played well for me, too. So George Kittle right there does everything. Route running threshold, uh, at least on medium. I'll have to see his, wait to see his deep. Run black at 90, so he's basically another extra offensive lineman out there. Jordan Brooks, another embarrassing run stopping left outside linebacker whose, whose stats are just awful. Um, overall, I'm going to put this guy, um, I think I'm going to go to 29. So we'll do Jordan Brooks right here, right above Shaq. I think Shaq was 92 speed, and he's 93, so right above that and the unusable category of players right now we got matthew stafford another one in the line of kirk cousins he is a strong arm quarterback so you can get gunslinger on him a little cheaper um yeah uh, overall he's fine you can get higher master i believe when you power him up to 99 overall so i think i'll put him right there with cousins same same speed that 82 speed threshold for escape artist if you so need it um on the card but 99 throw power when you power him up Overall, solid. Throw on the run is really low, though. Um, throw on the run only being at 91 is tough. You kind of want that high. Najee, oh my gosh. 96 speed. They actually blessed us with speed. He's powered up, and you don't even need running back straight items, and he's 99 speed. 98 acceleration on the power up. Agility's nice. Carrying's nice. Break tackle truck. Change of direction. Catching. Like, this, this is the best... Najee we might ever get in our lives outside of like somebody said they're gonna make golden ticket Najee uh I think they said they're gonna recommit it if anybody if that person's out there and you need help I know you, you may have talked to other people but if you need like uh help for myself let me know um if you're a Steelers fan I'm working with another Steelers fan on another golden ticket I don't want to like blow it and take away his news but uh we can kind of like work in concert to kind of find the most powerful thing to help out the Steelers theme team although I feel like you know exactly what the Steelers theme team needs. All right. Next up, Marquise Brown, 97 speed. You don't even need, like, uh, 
you know, to power him up. Just the Ravens theme team gets a 99. He's short, though, and we already have a lot of 99 speed guys. So, like, he's cool. Marquise Brown's never really played extraordinarily well for me. He's just fast, but he feel like he drops the ball, especially with 90 catching traffic. Um, he will end up dropping the ball. 88 jump. I think he's good. I'm going to put him in the solid power level. Let's go ahead and throw him right here at 17. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just I just don't see Marquise Brown. He's never played well for me. As much as I've tried to get him and tried to make him play well, I've hated every single Marquise Brown cards I've used. Jesse Bates at free safety, a little bit of hit power. You want to see that in the mid to high 90s. 95 speed, you need the DB strat items to get him up to 99. Acceleration's actually pretty poor too, uh, which is tough. But he's overall a pretty well-balanced db in both man and zone so that's got some definite value there so jesse bates i'm gonna throw bates at number nine right here although i feel like uh wait did i fit i forgot 10 10 is a better spot for jesse bates okay all right jesse bates at 10 is a, is a nice number for him anthony walker another run stopping linebacker with 74 zone coverage 93 hit power um anthony walker goes right here um maybe i should put them at 31 it doesn't matter they're all about the same power level which is awful linebackers in this game are a joke next up kevin byard 94 speed 86 hit power a little bit low actually bad man coverage too you do want your uh, db strat items to boost that up um along with the speeds got byard a little bit weaker than jesse bates is it enough to launch him all the way down into the 20s with with no hit power i mean six hit power is going to change a little bit of those interactions um, plus the speed, Bayard at 94, where Bates had 95. What's Bayard's acceleration? 94 again. Um, yeah, I think Bayard's just missing too much for me be to, to become like a free safety that I love. So Kevin Bayard's going to go down here. Kevin Bayard. Weird. He's so good IRL, though. Weird, weird, weird. Got not a great card. Shaq Griffin. Shaquille Griffin. Um, let's say his whole name. Bad agility super sad agility jaguar seahawks theme team obviously presses low zone is incredibly high what a great zone corner um and speed will get there on your jags theme team with your power up <sighs> i don't know how to rate that low agility it can really kind of bite you in the neck we'll see what his change direction is we'll just consider his change direction similar to his agility um so for that i think i i, I don't mind it though being a zone corner at that kind of speed so Griffin will go all the way up here, especially since he does hit the thresholds for press and man coverage. Um, I think Shaq, I'll go, actually go from nine to 11 on that. Grieger Hill sucks. At least he's got high block shed, but he sucks still. I mean, maybe let's just move these guys up. So we're going to move up. Move these play. I, I forgot how many linebackers we had. All right, right here. Uh, give me a space. I would probably put uh, him lower, but it doesn't matter that much. They're all about the same. Um, lack of power level. All right. Next up, we have Bobby Okara, Kara, 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 etc. Of course. Middle linebacker, 95 zone. Now, that's something. Not a great amount of block shed. Hit power is 93. Okay. Um, I think this is a fine card. I'm actually impressed by the zone coverage. I like that. The lack of block shed kind of sucks, though. All right. Let's move all the move these guys up again. We're going we're gonna to put them in front of the rest of them. Um, but, yeah, I, I underrated how many middle linebackers they had. Um. on this on this uh reveal all right next up on the list is elijah moore another golden ticket that was thought to be made and, and it's a good thing these things came out to tell those golden tickets hey don't make those golden ticket players um i like that obviously when you choose a current day player ea's got always the chance to upgrade them and that's just the risk you take but when you're trying to upgrade a low overall to a high overall um player that's pretty famous like Najee elijah's pretty well loved there in new york i guess maybe i don't know do you love them new yorkers let me know um that there is that risk of running into it um being upgraded by ea but luckily they heard it early enough to not do it 88 jumping 
for Mr. Moore. That's kind of brutal. I feel like Jumping's underrated. He has he has the he has the thresholds though. I think Elijah is a solid card. I'm gonna throw him at number nine. Um, because I feel like he can get it done. I, like he's not he's not really as glitchy as like you know Mike Evans, but I feel like nine's a pretty solid spot for receiver that fairly easily gets the 99 speed plus the route thresholds. Good catch in traffic, spec catch. Yeah, I don't hate him. Eric Rowe. Oof. Okay. A bad hit power safety. Dolphins. I don't mind it right now with 94 speed. It's not the greatest, but I think Eric Rowe is enough to hit number 19 for me. Eric Rowe. Um, that's kind of it. Like, you guys know my lack of love of low hit power safeties but eric rowe might be a little high i'm gonna just put him there because i didn't adjust bayard i don't know i really don't maybe rowe does go below bayard so we gotta adjust a little bit of this of this list around um yeah i think we gotta move him up rowe rowe's dipping down maybe rowe only slightly above Maybe Rowe is better than Bayard. Charles Harris. Rowe. Let's go Sanders right there. All right. Next up on the list, we have Jordan Poyer. Oof. At least he's got hit power. Oh, that's way more hit power than I thought Poyer would have. Oh, heck yeah, Poyer. Yeah, Poyer's definitely going up. Player X high zone, man coverage. Oof. The, th the problem with Poyer is he's a little bit on the uh, weak side, I guess, as far as uh, weight. So that's the one downside. But I, I kind of like this card here. Terry McLaurin. I think mean, we'll take him up to 11. Zeke. Go up to 12. Okay, I guess we got to add one more T. Just like the Boston Tea Party. got to get that T out of there. Actually, I kind of want to put Poyer like, right here, actually. Yeah, let's put Poya right below Zeke because that's actually pretty decent. Once you got all the speed cams on him, obviously. He's slow, but let's go Jordan Poya right there. All right. Right there, you see at number 14. Next on the list, Mac Jones. Throwing the run 85. Trash. Trash. 87 speed is better than Kirk, but I thought Kirk's what's what's Kirk's throw on the run? Um, let's see, like, the first. 98. Yeah, I, like, I missed too many passes throwing on the run for me to discount that stat. Um, so I feel like Mac Jones with only 85, especially, like, that's brutal. 95 throw power. This Mac Jones might be 31 on the list to me. I really don't like this quarterback. Mac Jones. We'll see where we get to after that. But Mac Jones, terrible. Okay, Austin Eckler, 95 speed, elusive back, not receiving. That's crazy that he's not a receiving back. Um, catching 91. Well, I don't know what a short route running will be, but that's kind of important for a running back out of the backfield. Short route running being high. That's why I like uh um Reggie Bush plays well. Austin Eckler. I think I think right behind Zeke. I think this is this is a great it's actually surprisingly a great spot for Austin Eckler with 97 break tackle, 95 speed. Um, you got You obviously have to bust that up a little bit with the uh, speed cams. Hunter Renfro. Now, a little bit of a, a, a slot receiver, which I think it's a pretty solid archetype for receiver, right? A slot receiver with a slot o -matic. Now, you guys see Cooper Cup using that. Uh, he might have to get bumped up. I think I might put him at number seven. I think that's actually a great spot, Hunter Renfro at number seven. Uh, because because just having that slot apprentice archetype provides a lot of values in offense. All right, next up, we have Legereus Sneed. Gorgeous corner. He's played well for me in the past. Press maybe a little bit low for a man-to-man -man guy if you play press man. Uh, but overall, I, I really like it. Pretty easily up to 99 speed there for the, for the Chiefs theme team. Legereus Sneed, we're going to go with number four for you. Um... Need for number four. I, I really do like that card. All right, so we only have 21 left. We'll see who it is. Tim Patrick. All right, that's definitely higher than 21. Tim Patrick, I feel like, is right up there at six foot four. I might put him at number four. 
So we've got a lot of work to do. We're just going to go like, um, do I want him right below Mike Evans? Or do I want him above Mike Evans? Let's go ahead and throw him right below. So we're going to go for Tim Patrick. All right. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, gosh. This is the problem. Live television. We screwed up. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. And then uh, delete that. All right. 19, 20, 18, 19. Those are solid years. Type one if you're old enough to remember it like myself being a boomer. There we go. And done. All right, there's the list. Ranking of the team champions on their way tomorrow. 98 overall, power up to 99 for that gold shiny 99. Let me know where I messed up, who I messed up on, who you think is going to play better than I got ranked. But there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the list. Thanks for watching. Call to action. I'll see you tomorrow, bright and early. Twitch.tv slash Gutfox for these things to come live. We got some nausea time. Woo!